Hello. Got a few moments for a grandpa who believes that all life is precious, a grandfather that is deeply worried that his and your grandchildren may not have the opportunity to live out their lives on a planet with a healthy atmosphere and abundant natural resources. I want to be part of the effort to change this dire prediction. My family is funding Like a Drop of Water, a worldwide writing contest for young people. We are asking them to send us their ideas on how they and the country they live in can reduce global warming and pollution. Why am I so concerned about the future? Well, I'm not a scientist, I'm just a grandpa. But my wife Judy and I have seen firsthand hundreds of dying pine trees besides lovely lakes, lakes devoid of fish due to acid rain from coal-fired power plants. Over the years, we have visited nearby and distant cities that have grown tenfold or more during our lifetime. And now, many of these cities are blanketed by smog, particle-laden dirty air that often blocks out the sun. In Glacier National Park, there were once over 150 glaciers. We were fortunate to see a few of the less than 30 that remain today. Scientists and climatologists believe greenhouse gases from fossil fuels, namely coal and oil, are raising the temperature on Earth. They estimate a rise of more than two degrees within decades could be catastrophic for our planet, bringing about droughts, rising seas, flooding land masses, and devastating hurricanes, as well as causing global conflicts over fresh water, food, and other natural resources. Our Earth is rapidly reaching the point where its land, seas, and the atmosphere we breathe can no longer absorb more toxic waste without irreparable harm. No one can predict the future, but by 2099, today's world population of 6 billion people will have more than doubled. If we do nothing, the odds are that our great-grandchildren will have to fight to survive on an unhealthy, overcrowded, resource-depleted planet. How can we change this scary picture? First, countries need to recognize the benefits for themselves and the world of wisely managing and preserving their national forests, rather than allowing nonstop deforestation. Trees and plants absorb huge amounts of carbon dioxide and, of course, produce the oxygen we breathe. Second, coal and oil used for power and transportation must be replaced with clean, renewable resources, namely solar, wind, and hydroelectric technologies. And finally, ideally every product manufactured in the world should be 100% recyclable. I have hoped that these vital goals will be achieved as more and more individuals, businesses, and governments respond to the threat of global warming and the pervasive pollution on our planet. Our Like a Drop of Water writing contest is for interested young people around the world from the ages of 8 to 17. We want them to email us their thoughts on how they and the communities they live in can reduce global warming and pollution. Each month, my family will send four or more winners checks for $100. This project is our small contribution toward creating a cleaner and healthier planet. As additional green sponsors join us, we hope the number of winners will grow to over a thousand a year. Knowledgeable and innovative young people will be tomorrow's leaders and decision makers in this campaign for a sustainable planet. Their ideas deserve to be heard and shared, and we want to hear from teachers across the world whose students would be willing to serve as judges. You can find the details of our writing contest on our website www.likeadropofwater.org. All of us are traveling through space in the same lifeboat. We are not separate from each other or separate from the natural world. And how we work together will determine the future of civilization on our planet. Our contest may be just a drop of water towards solving the problems of global warming and pollution. Yet millions of individuals of all ages can lead the way to bring about the positive changes we need. My name is Dick Wainwright. I'm an optimistic grandpa. Thank you for watching and be well.